hey everyone welcome back to our channel if you're new here please subscribe I'd really love that if you're returning how you doing so a community member had wrote in and he said guess who's in charge of the VOTE now that's right Homeland Security feel all the warm and fuzzies yet <laughs> so I looked into it and right on he's right so the US uh, CP or Capitol Police um, they are welcoming a special security designation from DHS for January 6, 2025, okay, when Congress will gather to certify the Electoral College vote count for the winner of this year's selection. This will be the first time that one has been issued for Congress's certification of the Electoral College vote. And the designation means that the U.S. Secret Service will be the lead federal law enforcement agency planning security for this event despite it being held in the U.S. Capitol, yada, yada, where the USCP typically holds the top jurisdiction, okay? So, Mayorkas, all right? You all know who Mayorkas is, right? Well, he's coming out with a new warning, okay? And this warning is that one of the top threats that is facing the United States is the lead up to November's selection are lone offenders, okay? Or lone wolves, whatever you wanna to refer to them as, okay? He's referring to them as lone offenders. So we'll just go with that for right now. Uh, aiming to disrupt the voting and other public targets. Well, we do know for a fact that Iran is they've already put the 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 message out there on the wire if you will that they're going to do whatever they have to do that trump doesn't get in okay whatever i ran you know um but that's because they know that trump will stop all the funding going to them okay so in a Manhattan location, Manhattan, New York, near where the iconic Twin Towers once stood. Mayorkas said that these types of domestic threat actors do not necessarily need a hijacked 757 to commit terrorism. But instead, what they're going to do, or what he thinks they are going to do, I'll put it that way, okay? Because nobody truly knows what these idiots will do, okay? He thinks that they're going to go after schools and campuses or houses of worship, uh, grocery stores, hospitals, polling places, election workers, and even law enforcement officers, okay? So just be aware all right if you've got little kids in school or even teenagers okay or if you've got kids that are in college okay if you go to your specific house of worship okay we all go to the grocery store all right even though if we rely on online grocery shopping and have everything delivered sometimes we're just like oh shiznit i gotta run to wemats all right um, hospitals, polling places, even if you do the mail-in ballots, irregardless. Um, they're targeting election workers and they're targeting law enforcement officers, first responders. You know they're not going to be able to decipher between who's who and what's what, okay? Um, so if you have law enforcement officers, firemen, EMT, uh, or slash paramedic uh, in your family, please be aware and make them aware of what could possibly be coming down the pipe, okay? Um, 
he said that these are individuals who have been radicalized to violence that are based on ideologies of hate, um, anti-government sentiments, conspiracy theories, or personal grievances. I can't really say, you know, I don't really agree with the conspiracy theory. BS. Hate, anti-government, yeah, okay, personal grievances, okay, yeah, but the conspiracy theory, there's been conspiracy theories going on since the God knows how long, and I, you know, I mean, I've even looked into conspiracy theories, and you don't see me carrying around an AK going shooting up anything or anyone, you know what I mean? So that's a little far-fetched there, Mayorkas, but whatever. Um, now, this is what he said describing what are largely the ideologies of, <laughs> and for him to even say this, right-wing extremists, it's not just people who are on the right. It's right, left, in the middle, and everywhere in between, okay? So for him to just put it on one side, that's being biased, dude, okay? You can't do that. I, because, you know, we're not the ones who are causing grievances at conventions, okay? So you might want to walk that one back there, all right? Um, he said, in our my, modern heightened terrorism threat environment, any locality anywhere can be a target at any time. Yes, I agree with that. But like I said, you need to walk back that one comment that you made okay so Mayorkas's words come against the backdrop of the selection that is playing out amid widespread fears civil unrest and in which a lone gunman in July tried to, to take away Donald Trump at a rally in Pensy but also you know we don't know for sure if that was political I don't think anybody really truly knows. And I don't think we're ever going to see, yeah, get that answer either, you know? Um, so, you know, to, to even say anything about politics when it comes to that kid, you really can't. You know, um, he could have screamed, yeah, I'm Republican, I'm conservative all he wants, but he could have been saying whatever he wanted to say in order to get a point across in order to do what he wanted to do and in turn do what he did if that makes sense does that make sense <laughs> so you know uh but a lot of us do have fears of civil unrest um a lot of us also have fears of another pandemic. uh you know because a lot of us have okay well if he gets in this is what we think is going to happen if she gets in this is what we think is going to happen so you know, but we're just going about, you know, what we have seen and experienced in the past. So he also made specific mention of his department providing state and local police with tools to help better ensure the protection of polling places and election workers, which that should be priority anyway, okay? Because you are going to have some crazies, okay? On both sides not just one on both and also in the middle so I don't want to hear oh well it's the right you know the red well no I don't want to hear that okay because you can't just pinpoint and say well it's them over there no you can't do that okay uh, you know there should be no bias here okay Mayorkas you know better all right so the national law enforcement agencies have made no secret all right of their concerns that are surrounding foreign meddling uh domestic tourists and also the threats that they pose to uh the security of the election come november like i said iran has already put their message out you know uh but that's only because they're getting pissy because they know that if Trump gets in, they're not going to be receiving any more funding. Um, but that's just my opinion, uh, my unprofessional opinion. But <laughs> that's just a fact. Um, anyway, I wanted to put this out there so you guys know what's going on. 
and I will see you guys in the next one, okay? You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping, and as always, fearless. Ciao.